What? 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 I... I'm... Yes, Jerry. You're in your hometown of Barnet Spring. What am I doing here? And you are... You know who I am, Jerry. You have to look around, Jerry. Why? You'll see soon. Hold space for an overview. Then move the cursor over the stand. Space bar? Cursor? I don't know what it means either. Just do it, Jerry. It's a dream after all. Okay. I can see the church door. Very good, Jerry. Take a closer look. To do this... Huh. Seems to be locked. The church is locked? It's Sunday. Shouldn't it be open? Look closer, Jerry. You can use objects by clicking... Click the left mouse... The door is locked. Locked? Really? What could that mean? Is it possible that something bad is going on in Barnet Springs? Something bad? Yes, Jerry. And it wouldn't be news to you if you had opened and read the letter that I sent to you. Your letter? Jerry, have you already forgotten the old shaman who sent you a letter recently? Wickvaya? Yes, Jerry, it's me. You should read the letter I sent to you. How do I do that? You should wake up first. Things would be easier if you did. Well, how do I do By leaving this dream. Don't ask me how. It's your dream. I don't make the rule. Visiting you in a dream was hard and you don't like visitors from Barnet Spring? We have more important things to do. So, wake up. If you move the cursor to the upper corner of the screen, the inventory will open. So, what about your inventory? Empty. Apparently you lost your car keys. Walk around Barnet Springs by left-clicking the spot you want to go to. Hold the space bar to look for your car keys. Then you pick them up with the left... No kidding. I could have done this by my... I just want to be sure... Apparently you... Ah, uh, yes. Yeah. And now... Mine. Hmm. Got it. So, Jerry, have you found the car keys? Yeah, but it's broken in two. Apparently, you don't want to wake up. Never mind. You can use the left mouse button. Combine. It's a dream. Has it worked? Yeah, I have a car key now. Okay, follow me to your car. We'll run. Just double-click the spot you... The nonsense you're talking. Trust me, I'm a shaman. Okay, Jerry. Wake up, read the letter, and then let's meet in Barnet Springs. Just take the key out of your inventory and use it. See you in Barnet Springs, Jerry. What a strange dream. Very strange. Wait a minute. This letter is real? Maybe I should actually read it. So, I'm back again. 
in Barnett Springs, a small, sedate town in Louisiana, the place where I was born and raised. I made a living out of it, a place which, after my parents dis- I turned away from. I just wanted to leave this dump so bad. That's why I left everything behind and set my mind on becoming a rock star. I put together a band and we- t But now, Wickvaya, the old Indian shaman from Barnett Springs, wrote me that his daughter Luna might be in danger. Luna, the unforgettable love of my youth. What was I supposed to do? So, that's why I'm here. Back in the place I intended to only return to once I made my fortune. Oh, it's Jerry McPartland himself. Look, everyone, look. A genuine rock star is gracing us with his presence here in our humble bar. Come on, Luna. You know I'm no rock star. Really? After all, you're a man that leaves his friends without batting an eyelash. God damn it, we spent our whole lives together, and then... Then you just vamoose and let everybody down. Do you think nobody missed you? Do you think we really just all went on living our lives like nothing ever happened? Do you really think all this was easy for me? Not easy, but... Luna. How have you been? Pretty good, Jerry? Or do you really think I went into mourning and became incapable of doing anything at all after you left? I'm a big girl now, you know? I can fend for myself. And besides, Jimmy has always been there for me. I didn't mean it like that. Well, all the weird things that are happening here these days. It's Jimmy again? Yes. Mrs. Bitters, the teacher, Stephen Johnson. They're all dead? Yes, Jerry, they're all dead. And ever everyone's scared. Ted's the only one. He feels safer with a real Native American shaman and his daughter than at his own home. Oh yeah, and then there's this strange FBI agent who started probing around here soon after the murder. FBI agent? Yeah, very strange guy. Whenever I see him, he sends shivers down my spine, and the cats by the trash start hissing. Whatever happened to your dad? It was Wick Ah, so that's why you're back. I all, uh, all that Wick does these days is sit in that... He drinks coffee as if sleeping was a punishable... Ever since the murders took place, everybody's freaking out. To be honest, I'm terrified too. Uh, man, decaf? Uh, to be honest, I'd prefer some real coffee. I'm sorry, Jerry. Coffee machine's out of order. Is it really Jimmy Lash tormenting my ears? Yeah, that's Jimmy. He sucks! For what it's worth? I actually like That's the reason you're playing it over and over again? Uh, no, Jerry. Truth is, Mr. B pays for Jimmy's songs to be played when no selection has been made. And therefore makes Barnet Springs a living hell for people with a good taste in music. Okay, Luna. I'm leaving now. Whatever. But just don't leave again. Hey, wait. Good to. Well, I was born in Memphis, Tennessee, where my dad was very glad to see I'm a boy with a special quality. Ugh, this won't work. We need something stronger to wake up. Hands off. Hands on. Hi, Fred. Long time no see. And yet not recognized. You'll never learn that I am Ted, will you? All of you look so alike, though. That's a common thing for identical triplets, Jerry. How you been in the last few years? In the last few years, I traveled America sight. Did you see me? Yeah. I've seen every shabby joint. You still haven't performed at Nick. Yeah, that's because he prefer- Well, Barry, he's a local. Still, whenever he sings, I can feel the grip. 
Ted, can I have one of those coins? Look at that. The moment he wants something from me, he suddenly knows my name. Well, it was just a good guess. I'm sorry, Jerry. I never part with my lucky coins. I need the right key for this. <laughs> Even if I wanted to, I wouldn't have the money. Hands off! Luna. How can I wake up your dad? Come on, just let him sleep. I've been giving him decaf only for a couple of days so that he can get some sleep. He thinks that evil spirits are surrounding us and that he has to use his shamanism to keep them at bay. So you don't want to make some coffee for me? Jerry McPartland drinks coffee? Did you develop new habits in your career as a rock star, or are you just trying to wake up Wick? Uh... I can't make the coffee, Jerry. Did you forget? The coffee machine is out of order. I left it there because it looks pretty. And also because I'm not strong enough to carry it outside. Can I help you with the coffee machine? I could carry it out for you. After all this time, you would do that for me? Do you still have feelings for me? Uh, uh, of course I'll help you out. <laughs> All right. I don't want to hurt my back, so I'll just let you help. Okay, Luna. I'm leaving now. Whatever. I'll dispose of the coffee machine in no time, Luna. Not now. I can't do that. How would that work? I'll take it. It isn't unwieldy or anything. I better leave them alone. Oh, it's secured by a huge padlock. Strange. Who steals trash anyway? I keep my guitar in there. <laughs> 